Hi, my name is Chad Nelson, and I'm a Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement Solution Specialist with Western Computer. In this video, we're going to review SLAs and adding an SLA to a lead record to make sure the lead is contacted within four hours of being created. If not, then we'll have the lead be reassigned to another resource. Part of the update to CRM 2016 version 8.1 is the ability to add SLAs to any entity except recurring appointments. We'll begin by going to settings, customizations. We'll go to customize the system. That'll open up the Power Apps Editor. And one of the other things you wanna make sure is that you have the SLA enabled on the entity that you will be working with. So for example, with the lead, it's already enabled, but I'll show you where that would reside. So scroll down underneath communications and collaboration, you'll see enabled for SLA. We wanna make sure that we have that checked. And so now we can create the SLA. So I'll scroll down outside of the entities, you'll see SLAs right here. We'll click on that. We'll click create new. We're gonna name this SLA expires within and then we're going to denote the entity which is lead and so this is the applicable form specifies the time and date from which the sla item will be calculated so we could do this modified on record created on estimated close date last campaign date scheduled follow-up so there's a lot of ways that you can trigger these but we're just going to keep it to create it on you can also do business hours to make sure that things aren't being canceled or failed because of some type of time frame here so you can add a calendar to regulate that we can allow a pause and resume so now we'll hit save and that's going to enable us to add the sla details so we're going to add here name this contact within we're going to denote the sla kpi that we created so contact four hours there it is and so now we're going to denote when it's applicable so lead and we're going to do this based off the statuses so we'll say status equals open and then the success criteria will be based off this contact or this lead being contacted within four hours. So it'll be equal contacted. Hit save and so we'll hit save here and that'll enable us to then add the actions and I'll scroll down here and you can see so failure will be within one hour there'll be a warning sent within 30 minutes and so then we can also add steps success action so send an email create a record update a record assign the record change the status failure same thing so we'll do a failure one so if this fails we could have this record reassigned to someone assign record lead and we'll denote to who let's pick anyone here amy alberts so if this fails we can then have this assigned to either a user or to a team we can have an email sent so a lot of flexibility with keeping up to date with your leads and so forth so we now hit save and close and now we need to activate this. So we'll hit activate. And then we can also set this as default. Now you can only set one SLA per entity as a default. So you can set that as a default there, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how it's done manually. So I'll X out of here. I'll publish all customizations. Now we'll hit save and close. And now let's go check it out on the lead record. So we'll come here to sales. 
go to lead, we'll hit new. Just say interested in dynamics 365. Make the name here be, oh, use my name. Then I'll hit save. I'm going to pop this summary up. You can see SLA here. So now we need to engage it. So we'll select the SLA. There it is. Expires within. Save changes. And you can see that it has now engaged that SLA. The timer is going. We have one hour to contact within four hours. So now if I change this status up here to contacted, save changes, and then save changes, oh, let's see here, Just watch this, let's save changes, and boom, it has now been denoted as succeeded. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay alert of all the latest video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales.